Hello and welcome to Simon's Sneaky Web Proxy How To. In this quick video, I will show you how to deploy a web proxy and how to use it. There are many reasons why you might choose to use an encrypted proxy. Uh, you might be concerned about your privacy or you might be on a network you don't trust. Maybe you're just seeking to circumvent geographical restrictions on web content. Whatever your reasons, having a personal proxy is useful and easy to use. When it comes to protecting your, your privacy or appearing to access the internet from somewhere other than where you are, you could use a VPN uh, or Tor, the Onion router, but both of these are fairly heavy duty. Um, they may not be the best choice for your circumstances and they might draw un unwanted attention. Uh, for ease of use, I find an external proxy hosted in another country the best method and the easiest to use. For for this project, I'll use the Squid proxy server and configure it to use authentication and encrypt connections uh, to the client to protect our privacy. Then I'll configure it to listen for connections on a non-standard port, which is the sneaky bit. Okay, here we go. Um, here's a diagram which shows uh, typical methods of accessing the internet. If you're at home, you're probably using uh, effectively a direct connection where your machine um, using um, HTTPS uh, uh, as an example simply traverses your firewall to connect to um, port 443 HTTPS of a, the target web server. Um, if you're in a, a commercial environment such as a corporate chances are it's more like a standard proxy service where um, your 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 company operates an internal proxy server that you connect to over the tra traditional ports 3128 or perhaps 8080. The proxy server then makes the 443 HTTPS connection through your firewall to the target web server. Um, what we're doing instead for Simon Sneaky Proxy is we are going to set up a proxy to operate rather than on the standard ports of 3128 or 8080, we're going to run it on port 443. Um, this allows us to traverse um, a port which is likely to be open on, um, on, a fire, on the firewall of a network you don't trust. Uh, and also to some degree to obfuscate the fact that we are in fact using a proxy server. Okay, I hope that is um, clear enough. So on with the show. Configuring Squid is is relatively trivial to do, to do, and it's it's um, all of that configuration is encapsulated in these five lines of configuration. Uh, what we're doing in the first line is telling Squid to use an authentication mechanism. This means that our proxy server out there on the internet is not just open to anyone. Uh, it needs a username and a password to be accessed. Um, we are saying that uh, we only allow authenticated users to use our proxy. And here's the key bit. We're using um, the HTTPS port on 443, as I said, rather than the standard ports, which would be 3128 or 8080 and we're using a certificate. Now, you will need to use a legitimate certificate. Uh, Let's Encrypt is a good choice because um, Let's Encrypt provides uh, free certificates. Okay, that's pretty much the, all there is to it for Squid configuration. There's a bunch of other stuff you can do with Squid uh, to minimize the amount of fingerprinting that websites can do, which would further improve your privacy. But that would be a topic for another video. Okay, once that is up and running, um, you need to configure your web browser to access Squid. Now, there's a, a number of ways you can do that, and one of the the, the, the one that I quite like to use is um, Proxy Switch Omega, rather Switchy Omega, which is available for Firefox and for um, for Chrome. Uh, Switchy Omega gives you a nice button on your menu bar, which allows you to quickly turn the proxy on or off as you need it. Um, now, in terms of configuring Switchy, Pro, uh, Switchy Omega, we simply tell it the name or the IP address of our server, being being sure to to tell 
to tell our uh, uh, Switchy Omega that we're using port 443 rather than 3128 or 8080. And another critical piece is to make sure just um, that your you, whatever the um, uh, the IP address of the network in your local environment is excluded from the proxy list. So you go direct to machines um, that are on your local LAN. All right, so once that is done, we can see um, that uh, I've gone to uh, whatismycountry.com, uh, which is telling telling me that right now I'm in New Zealand, which I actually am. And by telling Switchy Omega to use the proxy server rather than to go from direct. This will take a moment to load. You will see that as far as what is my country .com is concerned, I'm now appearing on the internet as if I was in Germany. All right, so coming back to direct and um, I'll reappear to, to this website as if I'm in New Zealand. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Uh, I recommend um, purchasing um, a virtual host or a host in another country. A country like Iceland, which has great privacy laws, is a good choice. So are most of the countries inside the European Union. Um, but wherever you set up a proxy, having it available, being able to use it from wherever you, you happen to be is often very, very useful. All right. Uh, I hope everyone found this, this uh, video informative. Thanks for listening.